takes in a quarter bounds. He comes to the ring with a 38 fight professional record, 20 wins, eight wins coming by way of knockout with 16 losses and two draws. He comes to the ring tonight as the current British Masters light middleweight champion. Please welcome from Birmingham, Jimmy Vincent. And ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the red corner, we're in the silver trunks, trim with white, coming from Sidcup in Kent. He weighed in also at 10 stone, six and a quarter pound, uh, and holds a 16 fight professional record. 15 wins, nine wins coming by a knockout with one draw. He comes to the ring as a former ABA champion and the current Southern Area Waterweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, from the class of 2002, presenting David Kid Dynamite Walker. The referee, Mr. John Quayle, will now give his instructions to both boxers. Guys, just three things, obey the rules, obey my instructions, and let's see good sportsmanship. Check hands, good luck. Well, you couldn't get a better referee for the most important contest of uh, David Walker's professional career. John Coyle, the man in the middle for this 10-rounder between David Walker and Birmingham's Jimmy Vincent. A final eliminator for the welterweight championship of Great Britain, a title held by the Belfast boxer Neil Sinkter, who may well give that up if he wins the uh, WBU championship sometime in the new year straight away jimmy vincent now at 34 years old a professional boxer for 15 years and the uh, black and white trunks against the man in the silver trunks david kidd dynamite walker who's back in action after an absolute thriller at the end of october in bethel green when he defended his southern area title against uh, brett james stopping james midway through this has the makings of a cracker and Jimmy Vincent which he wore looks in absolutely great shape let's not be too fooled by the by the Howard Eastman like beard uh, even though he's actually older than Howard Eastman but he's in very good nick yeah he looks in good condition when he actually came into the ring he, he looks heavier than uh, David Walker uh, well muscle looks in great shape obviously done his uh, training but um, yeah this has the, the makings of a, of a great fight and Jimmy Vincent He's going to be dangerous early on in the in the opening rounds here. That's when David Walker's just got to watch what he's doing because Vincent's going to be strong early. First two or three rounds, it could be anyone's, but Vincent's going to be strong. Walker is getting to some cracking contest, especially for the Southern Area title against uh, Paul Dwyer of uh, Portsmouth. When he won his, when he won the title, and again more recently when he defended it against Brett James and he's in against a man who's uh, the reigning British Masters light middleweight champion so that's a, a next division up and indeed Vincent has been in with men probably a stone heavier than Walker is at the moment good solid work from Walker but Vincent head down that shaven head of his brushing into the face of uh, David Kidd Dynamite Walker the 1998 ABA welterweight champion Huge support here, in particular for Walker, needless to say. And Vincent looks really purposeful and looks very strong. And they're not exactly having to go looking for each other, Rich. No, especially Vincent coming forward, keeping that guard nice and high, which is good. But he's trying to get to Walker on the inside, trying to close the gap down and work away with the hooks. Walker's got to try and work behind that jab and get a little bit of distance between himself and Vincent. Bit of bruising already underneath the right eye of uh, David Walker. Has he come back into another hard fight a little bit too soon? Well, we just have to wait and see. Vincent in uh, very good nick. And Vincent comes here having won his last four contests in a row, remember? All being at light middleweight, but he looks strong at this weight. Good defense by Vincent. Hands held nice and high. Walker trying to break him down. Terrific opening round, not a backward step taken by either man. Oh, 
excellent opening three minutes. David Walker with uh, Rob McCracken straight in front of him, Mick Williamson in the corner. Now 26 years old. And Walker, well, what a terrific record. Just uh, one slight blemish, and that was a draw some time ago. Jimmy Vincent now, uh, well, I reckon he's 34 years old, but we're not arguing about a year here and there. But look at that record. He's had uh, 38 professional contests, and most of them pretty tough, hard, bruising encounters. He's lost 16, but he's had uh, eight stoppages, so he can punch a little bit, but he's operating mostly as a light middle or even a middleweight, and that could uh, go in his favor. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. This final eliminator for the British title, scheduled for 10 three-minute runs. Solid work by Walker at the start of this second. He really is a powerhouse. His nickname is Kid Dynamite, and you can understand why. Vincent is in great shape, and he's really battling away too. Walker working better with the jab. A couple of good double jabs, and then getting that right hand home. Vincent, when he gets in close, he explodes with three and four punches. That's what he's got to do when they're in that, when they're in that close position there. That's when Vincent has got to unleash these punches. He, in barrages, the threes and fours, not the singles, just threes and four shots. Both men just a catch whisker away from landing. Good right hand from Walker. Vincent has really trained hard for this one. He's had a, a very peculiar career. He's been a pro for. 15 years and over that period with spells of inactivity he's been actually out of boxing for something in the region of nine years so he should be reasonably fresh some lovely work there from walker switched downstairs right hand to the body and then went left up to the head great combination better punches are coming from from walker at this stage although vincent is always in there but the better quality shots are coming from walker Lovely combination from the younger man, David Walker, all in silver. Every single member of the real class of 2002 came into the ring with him to show support just before this contest. But friends and manager and trainers and corner men, when the bell rings, they're the ones who are walking down those three steps. And there's nobody there but you. Better stuff now from Vincent. Yeah, Vincent there, he's landed with two good right hands there, Jim, and they were... Tracking punches, he didn't follow, follow them up though, but there were two good shots. Vincent does look very dangerous, the hands are pretty quick. Well, that sort of stuff from Walker looks good, but it's just really uh, taking some strength away from himself because Vincent's absorbing those shots. Yeah, good work though from Walker, landing with three or four shots, then he bobbed and weaved and got out of the way of Vincent's reply. Good division, this welterweight division uh, in British terms. Yawad Kalik is uh, right up there. James Hare, the Commonwealth champion. Neil Sinker, the British champion. The man who Walker has his sights set upon. The better work from Vincent there, and that's mainly because Walker was holding the feet. So when he holds the feet, he lets Vincent into this fight. Walker's got to keep moving, bobbing and weaving, and be a little bit more agile on those feet. Hit and move. When he stands, he gets caught. That's better from Walker. Last time out against James Hare, he had to take a few good hard shots, but his strength and his resilience got him through, and he won in convincing style. Good finish by Walker. Little malevolent stare there. Benson starting to bruise up a little bit underneath his left eye, and there may even be the makings of a tiny little cut somewhere to the uh, outside of that eye, but they'll be going to work on that straight away. Just Mick Williamson just coming in and trying to uh, ease out that bit of bruising. Well, look at that. 49 punches apiece. Walker just the more accurate of the two and scored with a bit more. And another round for Walker, one would have to say. But not much in it at all at this stage. Well, Rich has given both of those to Walker, but... Uh, you wouldn't like to have to live the difference, would you? I mean, there's not, there's not a lot in the fight, but for me, Walker just getting Seconds home with the out. better quality shots at this stage.
Well, this is going to be another war, and David Walker seems to be in war after war after war. And when you look at the names that Vincent has been in, you realise what a good opponent he is, and a dangerous opponent. Men like Gary Jacobs, Cornelius Carr, Wayne Alexander. And well, there's some reddening now on, on Walker's right eye as well, so Vincent is getting home with um, some shots and at the start of this round, good three or four shots went in from Vincent. Great opening start to the round. Good work by Walker, he's been slightly more active. Took a very good left hand and a right to follow from Vincent. And the man who was born in Barnet and boxed out of Birmingham, Jimmy Vincent, won his corner saying, come forward. He needed to press home that advantage and he didn't. It's a let off for Walker. Yeah, it was a great left hook from Vincent and uh, he got the shot home mainly because Walker has got a low right hand and uh, when, they're, when they're close in, in the clinches, if you've got low hands, you're going to get caught and Vincent got home with a cracking left hook there. Vincent moving forward and again the left hand, the left hand went in and caught David Walker. Well, Vincent's tactics are very plain to see. He's just just covering up and walking forward, prepared to take the shots that Walker throws, and just to get to get home his own punches. But he's hoping and relying that David Walker is going to hold those feet. Oh, wonderful from Walker! And back comes Vincent. Great right hand from Walker. What an exchange! They're on their feet here in Dagenham, and could you blame them? Well, Walker against Paul Dwyer was a cracker. Same against uh, Brett James. And this is out of the top drawer as well. Walker smiles as Vincent clipped him around the ear and Walker almost lost his footing. 45 seconds to go. They've been at it non-stop since the first bell. Good work by Walker, lovely movement from the waist, Richie. Yeah, excellent. Well, both fighters, actually, we've got very crowd-pleasing styles. They're prepared to, to take risks and take shots to get their own punches home. Walker smiles and says, I've got you that time. And he gets him again. This is better work from Walker. Oh, excellent stuff. And Vincent coming back again with his own shots there. But Walker just faster, quicker to the punch. Better quality shots are coming from Walker, but Vincent is always coming back with his own shots. Great last 20 seconds by Walker. Okay.